Hey Moto America fans, this is Cam Peterson. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Moto America YouTube channel for more coverage. Also, a like and comment. We are ready to get this race underway. So look at Tony Elias on the Fresh and Lean Attack Performance Yamaha. The third bike for Fresh and Lean Attack Performance this weekend. Here we go, revs are up. When that light goes off, we're going. Gagne with a good launch, but Matthew Skoltz going right along with him. Here we go, off into turn number one. Nobody in the field wanted to see the 32 wow. lead this one. Oh, Elias coming from nowhere. Skoltz trying to go around the outside. Gagne sat up really early, and it kind of threw everybody off. You can see Skoltz almost got in the back of him and then put himself to the inside. But Elias is the guy that's going to take advantage of this as he's going to jump that attack. Yamaha back up into second, chases weekend teammate again, Jake Gagne. A little bit looking through our, our onboard stuff here. They're going to go up over that wheelie hill, but this is what everybody didn't want to see. This guy, Gagne, getting out to a quick start. Gagne pushing really hard, but Tony Elias also very aggressive. His second weekend back on the motorcycle is the 24 2017 Superbike champion. And he gets a ride on the attack. Yamaha, supported by Fresh and Lean, with Josh Heron back in the mix as well. He's in that group right behind, but it's this guy, the class of the field this season, Jake Gagne. Trying to set sail. 13 race wins in a row so far this season. Yeah, and of course, you can see it's perfect outside, 79 degrees. You couldn't ask for a better day here in Jersey. And right now, Gagne is doing his disappearing act. And I just got to tell you, Greg, I've been watching Bobby Fong pretty tight this weekend. And it has looked like a bit of a struggle. And whatever this guy does with his team before the starts of these races, he just grinds it out. As you can see, a lot of dust in the back. And that all of a sudden put Elias on the radar once again. And it looks like Hector Barbara. Oh, that this guy's been riding amazing too this weekend. He's done a great job. So I'm wondering if that's just uh, simple as running off the racetrack. It looks like it. Bike doesn't look any worse for the wear there. But Hector Barbara has been riding really nice. As you can see, Camp Peterson has now made his way through on Heron. Baz right up the back of both of these guys. So Camp Peterson just got through. It looked like on the exit of turn one there. I would imagine, Jason that the birth of your child is going to be a big distraction at home before you come <laughs> to the final two races of the season. Yeah, well, he's been through a lot in the last month. I mean, obviously, it was the, the when we were on our way to Brainerd, we had heard that, that Josh maybe had come down uh, sick, and we weren't sure. And then, of course, the positive test came back, so he misses Pittsburgh. More than anything, he's not in riding shape, probably. He's Matthew Skultz now. Looked like Tony went a little bit wide there up in that turn nine area, and he's going to allow Skultz to get through. So 1.6 seconds is the lead at the front. Right. Let's see if Matthew can start to chip away at that at all. To see him race in a couple of seasons. So Skulls in a very good place. And, you know, when talking to that team after practice session number one yesterday, there were smiles all around the confidence level, this team and the changes that they've made during the off season to you dial there, this Hector, bike in. Hector Barber, sorry, Greg. Hector yeah. Barber on the front straight away there, moving over for these leaders coming through as Loris Baz. Yeah, I saw him go up underneath Cam Peterson the lap before, and this time he gets up underneath Josh Heron. So this is kind of what I thought might happen. I know Baz uh, is struggling, but he's going to be able to put these laps in. I've seen him do number of laps, Greg. He goes out and does more laps than anybody, and uh, so I know he knows he's going to be familiar with what's underneath him. But he gets through and gets a couple positions, and you saw Hector Barber there. Just get out of the way of these guys. Here's a look at our Geico saves. Jason looking at Loris Baz on the 76. Oh, run, yeah, running off the edge of the track there is a bit sketch, but you can see there's no green paint there, Greg. It's grass. So, you know, the, the, the main thing there is he got the bike upright, and it looked like Heron was going up underneath him. So... Yeah, no you green paint. That, no green paint. Hey, and, and props <laughs> to Josh Aaron for getting out of that situation as well. Yeah. He made the move up the inside. But Tony Elias holding on to third place. Bobby Fong is hot on his heels at the moment. As Gagne is about 8.4 seconds ahead of this battle for the final spot on the podium. So it's Gagne Skoltz, who's about two seconds up the road from the 24. You know, you got a guy like Richard Stamboli in your corner as well. That helps a ton. And he's going to be able to break down each idiosyncrasy of what Cam did and hopefully get that to where it's going to be applicable to what Jake has done. And he's been able to do that really well. You're witnessing a rider who is on a 14-race win streak. If he can come out of this final corner and clean to the checkered flag, comes Jake Gagne, fresh and lean attack performance Yamaha, 14th win in a row.
And here comes Matthew Skultz. He's going to end up second. And it looks like Tony Elias is indeed going to hold off the advances of Bobby Fong there. Bobby, tremendous effort for the 50. But Tony Elias gets back on the podium. And here's that battle, Greg, coming all the way down to the wild. Loris Baz is going to get fifth over Josh Heron. Those guys were fighting all the way to the end. Cam Peterson, you can see just in the background there, he's going to end up seventh. Welcome back to New Jersey Motorsports Park as Jake Gagne and Matthew Skultz have a conversation of how their race went. 7.6 seconds, the margin of victory from Gagne to Skultz, as you can see clearly right here. And then we have those couple great battles, Jason Elias and Fong and Baz and Heron. Yeah, absolutely. The Baz Heron was good to watch the last few laps. I could see them out the window, back and forth with each other. And Camp Peterson, be interesting to see what went on with him today to fall back a little bit. Surprises me. Kyle Wyman, the same. Kyle had to come through all those guys that we saw battling the Jake Lewis's, Bradley Ward, Corey Alexander. So we'll figure out what happened with those guys. Hope they can do better tomorrow.